So my name is Eva, uh, surname Pehar, but before I was Jurišić. Uh, I'm 28 uh, and I play uh, middle blocker. So, which is that mean, first my, my job is to block uh, other players um, from other team. Other things what I have to do is uh, spike quick balls, uh, serve good, and my uh, other job is uh, defense and set, what is, which is not so important, but it's important, yeah. Uh, I'm Croatian, I come from Croatia. Uh, I live in a small town near Zagreb. Zagreb is capital town in Croatia. Yeah, I was going in my town Velka Gorica in high school, uh, in uh, primary school and after in high school. I started there to play volleyball with my friends because all of my friends wanted to play volleyball and I say, okay, I want to play too. And we started in uh, school and after two years, so when I was 12, uh, we went in a local uh, club to, to start real uh, uh, practicing volleyball. And after two years, I, uh, my coach uh, said to me, Eva, maybe you can go in better club uh, because I was tall, you know, and uh, I show I was really interesting about volleyball. So he said, maybe you should try in better club and uh, improve yourself. That's why uh, I went in uh, Zagreb. Uh, there is a best team in our country, Mlado Zagreb. So I decided to go there. Uh, they accepted me and I started uh, to play for young team after I grow, how I was growing up. I started to play for senior team. And in general, I stayed there 12 years until my 26. And uh, I decided after to go out because I wanted to try something new. Uh, yeah, and I, I decided to go in France. I'm the only one in my family who play volleyball. Uh, my older brother and sister, they played uh, basketball and younger played football. Uh, handball, sorry. Handball. handball, yeah. My first club was in Calais, uh, Stella Calais. This is my, it was my first experience. Uh, it was really hard to go in, in the north of France, you know, I've never heard for Calais before. Uh, but I decided, okay, I will go. And it was nice. Uh, you know, cool. I learned a lot of things, but it was only a bad thing because it was COVID and a uh, lot of things were closed. And but uh, and yeah, second year I came here in San Diego. Uh, when I was in Calais, we played uh, against uh, San Diego, and uh, I really liked this club. And uh, I saw Manu, and uh, I thought uh, at that time, oh, he he's nice coach, and he has a good team, and. He made something good. My husband played uh, handball and he signed for Strasbourg. Uh, we wanted to be closer to each other and I wanted to find a club uh, near him. And uh, it was only a few uh, clubs that I can go around Strasbourg. So Sandie was one of the options. And uh, I kept in contact with Manu and uh, yeah, finally we decided that I will go here. Yeah, I wanted to come because it was one of the options and uh, for me it, it looks like a good team, like good coach, good working. I knew Mael from last year in Calais. Uh, that was easier for me to come here because I knew some, someone. Uh, it was still uh, new, something new for me, even if I was in France one year. I didn't know a lot of players, a lot of uh, coaches here and uh, for, for me it was the easiest thing that Mael is here and I asked some, t um, I texted her before uh, when I came here, uh, like how are you, like about, so about some information and for me it was a challenge because uh, there is a lot of uh, strangers and French people, you know, uh, in team, so I adapt, uh, I'm satisfied. I'm, really satisfied and uh, especially about when I compare from last year this team for me is much better uh, like uh, players and uh, like teammates like a person when we start from coaches from Manu to a physical preparator to physio president uh, a lot of people around club they're so nice uh, I was surprised how they 
uh, love to watch us to to come on every game to help around the club. Uh, I'm really surprised about that and how how they expect us, you know, every time. So this is for me really uh, something new. I've never uh, uh, had this before. So yeah, I'm really satisfied about this. Really, I I feel here uh, so accept, uh, accepted and. Uh, yeah, satisfied. Yes, I feel really that we are, that here it's big, big family. In our team, there is a lot of personality and a lot of, okay, we, we all have our problems in life, uh, good things in life, and uh, somebody will show it and somebody will not. Uh, for example, I'm trying to not to show my problems in my life but sometimes girls show that they are bad that they are angry somebody uh, i don't know somebody did something wrong and they are so angry and they you can see on the court and sometimes they they express this energy which is not good but it's normal nobody is same you know but uh, on positive thing um, I'm really happy because here in this team, uh, all our uh, players are really uh, good, like uh, players, and uh, they're example to younger players how they should be, uh, like how they have to um, be on the court and even outside. Uh, they are really hard worker, and um, they won't always win. Uh, they always give themselves on the court for on, for every practice and for every game. So I, I really like it and they are really good example how other players, especially younger players, have to be. So uh, in global, uh, I think we did good this season. Uh, when I say good, uh, it's not perfect, but it's not so bad. We did good job, really good job uh, in the uh, first uh, part of the season. And uh, uh, finally, we were first in our group. Uh, I think uh, after Christmas, we were in very good shape. Uh, we played so good. But after, you know, after uh, first uh, part, when we go, when we started to play off, I think, you know, uh, in that time was a lot of injuries, some COVID cases. It was hard for some players to come back, you know. And yeah, that's why it was, we start maybe to lose, and we lost uh, our timing, our like uh, our good game, our good uh, spirit, you know. Yeah, I think uh, it's a good thing uh, because we can help to other people uh, to in, uh, in, to include them uh, in. Uh, different life, I don't know, and uh, maybe to socialize them, uh, to try something new. Uh, and it's nice to do, for example, for October Rose, it was really a nice show uh, here in the gym. And uh, with this, we helped uh, uh, pe people who have problem with cancer, you know, so uh, it's good to do it. Uh, and I think I will do it even alone without a club or something, because I will feel satisfied because I helped someone. We are living, we are human beings, you know, we, we have to take care of each other, we have to uh, help, you know, and uh, it makes us happy, happier and uh, satisfied. Our plans, uh, I mean, when I mean our, it means my husband and me, uh, it's to stay in France. Uh, we want to play, but like to be together or uh, or close to each other. Well, we don't know yet for sure where we'll will be, but uh, we go in in that way. You know, we want to have family, but we want to stay in France a uh, few years and go back after in Croatia. Yeah, finally we want to live there because it's our home. You know, there is our friends, our family, and we want to be close to them. And after in Croatia. Uh, usually, uh, how I said, I, I have master degree for primary education. I want to uh, work in school, and uh, my husband uh, is a physical preparator. He can work uh, like a coach or uh, or like a teacher in school too. Yeah, 
for a physical education. Salenjaci, definitely. <laughs> University in Zagreb. <laughs> Sorry, but Croatia is in my heart, and it's like that. <laughs> Lakes of Plitvit. Still Croatia? Still Croatia. Traditional Croatian music. Honestly, I, I don't like French rap. In global, I don't like rap. But yeah, even I prefer French old song. I heard some of uh, French old song. I don't know names, just I heard from girls and uh, yeah, I prefer this kind of, I prefer uh, 80s, 90s, you know, 70s music, yeah. Oh, first time that I will say volleyball in France. <laughs> I will be for France because here, uh, Okay, it's a big country. Here's a lot of clubs, good clubs. Even in first and second division, first, of course, it's really professional. And even second, for me, I was really surprised. Uh, uh, like every game, it's really uh, hard, you know, you, you have to push yourself, give 100%. Uh, good, uh, good players from all of around the world. So, yeah, volleyball in France, for sure. Uh, merci de venir uh, au match uh, ensemble de Plaçon de la Montagne. Allez les Louvres! Ouais. Ouais. <laughs> Thank you.